Hey guys and gals, Never here from Drake Wing Gaming. It's something on Twitter, the Gaming Dragon. Today I'm coming back at you another Let's Play episode of Soul Creek. Ooh, I love that. Ooh, it's getting real crazy now, y'all. Let's go ahead and jump right back in, shall we? Alarm chain, you were up, and let's go. All right. Back to Taki. Don't think any of them made it. Folks just joined up with Ashlanders and straight up disappeared. Food for the Black Zones. Never gets easier out there. Never. I hum thoughtfully. Elayla, for all its beauty, remains bleak. Thanks to terrified ignorance, it'll stay that way. It's all just perpetual stagnancy. Caught between brutal clan politics and black, unspeakable horrors only those unlucky enough to have the four can even hope to understand. I see why Alira was willing to sacrifice everything just to glimpse a better path. Maybe she's right. Maybe something has to change. Must be nice to be a black runner. You lot are above it all. When you ain't out there picking off Ashlanders for sport, that is. Hmm, but there are other hazards. Yeah, true. Give me another war over messing with the Black Zone. All right, twat face. As a mocking Taki abruptly thwacks me on the arm with her spear. Put him up. But what? Right now? Now, bitch. I frown, looking around and clutching my spear uncertainly. There are a lot of people around us. Let's go somewhere less crowded. Why? Don't want to get fucked in public? No, I mean, yes, I mean, just, we don't need an audience. Spar ain't a spar without one, rat. Now is not the time for this. Bullshit. Now's the best time. Come on, rat. You said you know how to fight. So show me. Show them. She strikes my arm once more. Before I can stop her, she turns and elbows and bellows to the entire crowd. Gather around, my little fuck racks. The first guardian of the Draconine, the last human. One on one. Let's go right here. My eyes widen in horror. I didn't realize she got off on this so much. Taki! Oh, relax. Only a spa. Spa? <laughs> Happens all the time. Javoni encourages it. She gives me a wink. Alex is one of us, yeah? Let him show his stuff. Trust me, he'll love it. You are always going too far with these spars. Heads are turning. Voices start whispering. All eyes are on us. My chest tightens. All those faces that leer at me, now locked in our direction. Shit. I clench my jaw. My heart racing, co common sense urging me to back out. But they'll see me. They'll think I'm weak. A coward. Fuck. Let them see me like that? See humanity like that? The same humanity that was slaughtered. By their kind. I can't. I won't. Alex! He squeezes my shoulder. What? You do not need to show that you are strong. You can refuse this challenge. <sighs> I watch his gentle smile. Seems he knows that... He knows too, uh, all too well what thoughts are turning through my mind. I know, but... You are a black runner. Boy, this is nothing more. He's right. This is stupid. I take a breath, grounding myself. I am in control. Fight? You there? I'm here. A spar would be good practice, but we probably shouldn't draw attention. Taki, let's spar somewhere else. How about behind the... Nope! She grins, winking. It's tradition. You want to spar, you spar like one of us. As she's speaking, I spot someone behind her in the crowd that makes my stomach lurch. Caius is here. He's standing, eyes glazed and in disinterest, with the colossal rhino Svei next to him. Right as I spot him, his head whips around to me. I freeze, caught in his orange glare as it narrows. His gaze flicks to Taki, and to me. I stare back. Even from this distance, it's impossible to miss the twitch in his eye. A slight sneer in the corner of his mouth. The saber toothed nostrils flare, then he turns away from me and mutters something to Sfei. Both of them smirk. I tighten my fists. Rat, come on, you game! They're laughing at me. Yeah, of course they are. They all, they all are? They think I'm weak? Nah, they don't think it. They know it. Those beasts that burned me, burned us! Hey, rat! We'll see. Oi, rat! She goes to thwack me again. Bite and I catch her spear mid-swing in her hand with a thud. Loken recoils. A spattering of the onlooking crowd turns their gaze to us. Taki's brow rises, and Caius's gaze flicks back. Bite? Yeah? Let's kick her ass. Are you sure? I throw Taki's spear off center, drawing from the enhanced cognition Bite affords me. We swing our own spear sideways by the blunt end. Taki jolts back, calling her stomach to avoid the blow. It narrowly passes her. Oh, so now you... We spin the spear and bring a flurry of more blows expertly down at her. Just as I'd hope, Taki's cocky grin warps suddenly to a desperate grimace as she leaps back and out of our range. 
to the side, Logan snarls. Alex, Taki, be careful! Everyone's watching, surprised, shocked. And there's Caius, his brow creased in interest. His mocking sneer remains, but now it's, a diff it's different. A cocktail of amused disbelief and curiosity. Nobody expected me to move like that. Not the small human. Yeah, that's right. A subtle smile twitches on the side of my face. Look at me now. I stare back at Taki. This was all a game to her, a charity. She was, gonna e she was going easy on me. But now, she knows Bite and I can match her. The game has changed and I'm starting to like it. All right then, rat. As our audience swells, she steps forward. Bite and I are ready as she raises her spear. But then her boot scrapes the ground. A torrent of dust and mud is kicked into my face. I flail, trying to clear my vision as I hear her charging. Bite takes control and throws me sideways as her spear shaft passes by. Play defensive. I need time to analyze her movements. I wipe my face clear, only just catching her pounce. Again, Bite rolls me out of the way before I even comprehend what's happening. God, she's fast. I swipe my spear at her feet, but she jumps in. There's a rush of motion. She brings her weapon down on me. Bite and I block it with our own. Taki whirls her spear like a wheel in front of us. I back off, dazzled by the display and unsure where she'll attack next. Bite has better judgment than me. He raises my arms to block the coming strike. Taki twists like gushing smoke, slamming her foot into my shoulder. The crowd gasps. I'm thrown backwards and we roll, landing on one knee. Sorry, I miscalculated. Damn it, even Bite can't keep up with her. She's incredible. Alex! Logan charges forward to intervene, but I throw a hand up to stop him. Get back! I glare back at Taki. The hell you got? I grin back. Logan, relax. I've got this. The hound nervously backs off again. Bite, how fucked are we? I've nearly got her patterns down. Just keep your guard up a little longer. To the side, Caius is staring, entirely focused on me. You'll see. Everyone will see. I will not be beaten again. Hunted again. Burned again. I'll be better. Taki charges. I do the same. Bite and I catch the block, and catch and block every blow. Each crash of her spears thundering through my bones like lightning. Hmm. She steps forward. We step back. We step forward. She steps back. When we dodge, she advances. When she dodges, we advance. Blow after blow and blow. Neither of us gain the upper hand. She's unstoppable. A warrior. Absolute and indomitable. But so am I. Analysis complete. Countermeasures are ready. Let's go. I'm not even sure I can describe what happens next. It's a maneuver I could never imagine was physically possible. Bite and I throw our spear aside and catch hers. Mid-swing, definitely clenching our grasp, but then we twist. Taki loses balance and stumbles. My entire body leaps and rotates several times, rolling right over her and shoving her forwards. With a quick, with a quick kick, Taki hits the dirt face first. By the time she scrambled up to her feet, Bite and I have already kicked our own discarded spear into the air. Twirled it, twirled it around and pointed the tip at her throat. She freezes. The audience is utterly silent. If it weren't for Bite, I'd be trembling. My heart is thumping like a caged beast. The thrill is overpowering, stronger than anything I've ever felt. It's incredible. Behind me, Loken is growling in concern, ready to lunge forward and break us apart. But then Taki smiles. Slowly, she gets to her feet. Well, you know what, Rat? I fucking yield. She backs away and bows her head. You win. Cuts, I won? I fucking won? I look at Caius. He stares back. Grunting with an indiscernible expression, he turns away. Then I look around at our spectators. They're muttering to themselves, eyes wide in surprise. There's no applause. They're all shocked, all stricken. Some even look... Afraid? Afraid of me? Good. A new sensation floods me. It washes over the rage, dowsing it like a hot wound. Satisfaction. Vindication. There's that twitch again. The faintest glimmer of a smile. Look at me. Look at me. This is what happens now. Nobody hurts me. Doubts me. Burns me. Never again. I will never be. We did it. Nice one. You were amazing. We. Right. Yeah. We did it. Both of us. Thanks, Bite. You're awesome. You know that? Awesome. Anytime. We're a team, remember? I did nothing. It was all Bite. Without him, I'm useless. That glimmer of satisfaction I felt, the justification for it all. It's a lie. I'm nothing. No. We'll see. 
Alex! I jump in shock as Loken's hefty paws clasp my shoulders. He yanks around me around to face him. You are okay! Shaking off my thoughts, I force a smile. I'm fine, see? It takes a moment for me to realize I'm still in the throes of the adrenaline rush. I'm great, actually. Fuck, I- Fuck, did you see that? I actually- Fuck! Loken blinks, taken aback. Alex, be calm. Breathe slow. Yeah, yeah, I'm- I'm good. From the side, Taki nudges my arm. Who the fuck thought you'd- have, thought you'd have move like that, eh? I just shrug. I, uh, I don't remember. Damn, fucking nice moves. I grin, slapping her shoulder raucously. You too, that twirling thing, then the kick. Damn, I had no idea what was coming. Well, I ain't never seen a person pull stunts like you did. I ain't never gonna see it again. Unless we go for round two. What now? Fuck off, you little cum rag. Give it a day or two, yeah? But no spears next time. Bare fists. Quite suddenly, the honey badger grabs me by the shoulder, pulling me in for a hug. Feels odd. She's never hugged me before. It doesn't contain her usual rowdiness. It's genuine. Thanks for that. Good fight. Real good. Alex? I needed that. I smile. You too, Taki. She pats my back, ending the moment quickly. All right, fucks. <laughs> Fuck skunks. She get back on duty while I'm knocky or skulking about. Uh, no, no matter it's gonna be sketchy, fuckers. Gotta keep an eye out. With a dwink, Taki turns, immediately observing... Sounds very racist, Taki. <laughs> immediately, the observing crowd are all over her, showering her with praise despite the loss. No one approaches me. Loken suddenly ruffles my hair. You are a good fighter. Yeah. Y you mean we are. I tap my head. Yes, you are protected. This is good. Alex? Hmm? You are looking not okay. You are upset. I just wish, uh... It's nothing. He stares. I avoid his eyes, staring sideways to the building housing the Draconi showers. I, uh, I think I need to calm down after that. Gotta take that shower. I haven't washed since Devil's Crag. Loken suddenly whines, eyes flicking sideways. His face falls and his ears flick sadly. What's up? No reply. His tail sways. Loken, talk to me. He still doesn't answer. I notice him take a tiny step closer to me. His eyes flicker towards the entrance to the water makers. He grunts tellingly. I just smile, reaching up and petting his arm. Of course we can shower together. Okay. He's, oh god, I love Loken so much. Impatient, Loken ushers us both into the water makers. The scent of stale water, primitive soap, and thick steam clogs my senses. The churning heaters above the building roar and rumble as they labor to heat gallons of ice cold water. The auto monks really outdid themselves with this. Can't seem much, can't seem much so different to magic if you're a draconi. No magic involved. It's a straightforward immersion heater. They're using electricity from the Great Barrier, just like the rest of Alayla. Andy. And hungry. The water tanks are using a crazy amount of power. Dravoni gives the auto monks protection. I bet they're happy to provide. Nice luxury. It's more than luxury. Parasites and diseases are still a problem. With a body covered in fur, the risks I can assess are quadrupled. And consider the climate. Washing in ice cold water could be lethal. As we're navigating the individual rooms, a Draconite tribeswoman exits in a state of undress. I blush, and I blush and politely turn my gaze away from her bare chest. She jumps at the sight of us. Oh, Loken, it's not, it's not like you wash here. Mm -mm, I will not use the springs today. Ah, well, the, the room here is empty so you can be alone. The pipes are still hot. Okay. Respect to you, Black Runner. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. She bows her head, Loken copying the gesture, then shuffles past us. When we're alone, Loken regards me curiously. You are shy? Sorry? Your face is red. I roll my eyes. Still not used to casual nudity. All right, I'm going to go ahead and pause it right there. That was a great episode, y'all. Ooh, great duel between uh, Taki and Alec. That's awesome. All right. All right, y'all. Thank y'all so much for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, ring that notification bell, and check out our Patreon if you can. It always helps. Before I go, I'm going to give a quick shout-out to our lovely bronze-tier patrons. Thank y'all for all I do for the channel. We greatly appreciate your support. Thank you to our silver-tier patron, Cade Silverman. Thank you for going a bit above and beyond. It's greatly appreciated. Thank you to our gold-tier patron, Tresum Guy. You're awesome. We love you. Thank you for subbing to your ultimate tier. Anyway, if y'all want to get your names in the credits, get access to all of our not-safe-for-work contents as little as $5. Alrighty, I love you all, and I'll see y'all in the next video. Bye bye